How do you chew? I gum everything. Really? So you don't eat steak? I do. Yes. There are certain foods that I eat that I have to cut in small pieces, and pretty much I just swallow them whole, just like a snake does. That, no, I'm sure you still have the Yeah. So it's taken some time to get used to it, a different way of eating. So, you know, there are different things that change in my life because of my transformation, and eating is one of them. If you see the pattern of what's going on, there's several stages of evolution. So my transformation is a metamorphosis. And I will reach the end stage as a full dragon when I have all my procedures completed. My name is Tiamat Legion Medusa. And you are? I am known as the Dragon Lady because I am the Dragon Lady. Yes. <laughs> I, am a, I am the world's most modified transsexual. I am a... Uh, an individual going through the process of two major transitions, life-changing transitions, life-forming transitions, and life-giving transitions. It's not just going through a transition, it's a different life. So, like being reborn. I, I, I think of myself as being a real life example of being born again, <clears throat> because I am morphing through body modification into a human dragon. It's conceptual body art. And um, I'm also in the process of um, becoming a, a woman. I'm a male to female transsexual. I, I decided when I just started my, my transition, which was um, it's 22 years ago, that I was going to live my life, do me, and if people didn't like it, and some people are really, really ugly, but a lot of people, like Los Angeles, has received me with open arms and welcomed me here. Where are you from? I'm from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Yes. Okay. When I first got here, I was in the middle of Skid Row uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in a shelter because I was I ended up homeless. Oh so uh, for a month and a half. I can't imagine what that was. Oh, my, oh my Lucifer. It was just... <laughs> It's, it was crazy. And so right now I'm on the outskirts of Skid Row and it's great because I love where I am. You know, you don't do something like what I've done to myself to to later on, you know, regret it. No, you have to know right from the very front, am I or am I not gonna regret this 10 years from now? And when I started, I said, I'm not going to regret it. I'm gonna be happy. People who live, uh, whom I've lived with, and like my neighbors where I live right now, everybody just loves me. They're like, they, they, they like, everybody's like taking me under their wing.